Hi guys, it's Janet with Fruit of the Vine Art Studio here and it's Wednesday night at 8 and I wanted to come on and do a craft with you this evening. I also wanted to talk a little bit about my November kits that I'm offering this month. There's four, actually, actually there's um, a couple, there's three of them that I'm not going to show right now. I don't have them up here with me, but these, these three I have right here, there's the snowmen let it snow and then we have the baby penguin that's one of our kits this month we have our holiday gnome then we also have a winter fox and we've got a couple of different turkeys i don't have those up here right now to show but those are all available during the month of november those are the kids' arts kits this month. And then I also have a couple of wooden crafts. If you were with me on Halloween, when we had our Halloween bash, you saw me create Not So Scary Harry, the Wooden-Headed Scarecrow. Now, that's a very easy craft. And if you want to make this and get it as a kit, this kit is a $12 kit. Or if you'd like for me to create one for you, then I'll make one for you for 15 Tonight, we are going to make Not So Scary Harry's Companion, which is going to be Smiley, the Wooden Snowman. And he's going to come in a kit also. The kit is $12, or if you'd like for me to make one for you, I'll do that for 15 The kit itself. You're going to get the piece of wood. The piece of wood is going to come, and then there's going to be your tracer that'll go with it, and you put that on the top and trace down for the sketch here. Then you use your marker, and you draw that on. It's going to also come with your shim. It's going to have a couple of little embellishments that'll be in there for it. And then it's also going to come with your brushes. You're going to get a sponge brush, and you're going to get a, a fine line brush. And you're going to get um, some school glue to go with that. You'll get some black and white paint, some blue and some orange, and a touch of pink. So those would be the colors that you will get with this kit. It's going to be very quick and very easy to make. And I think I'm just going to flip you guys down and let you see what we're going to do here. It's going to be an easy craft that you can make yourself, and I'll send you the parts. Let me turn you down. Here we go. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is take these and move them off to the side. We're going to take our sponge brush. And we're first going to start with our white. Let me get that out of the way. Is he centered good there? All right. We're going to take the white paint. And we're going to paint this bottom area down here. Now this piece of wood is a little bit beat up. I would not be selling that piece. Uh, that's just the piece, the scrap piece that's left over. I'm going to use that tonight. Okay, get a little white paint out. And you're going to take your sponge brush, and we're just going to dip right into the white paint. And we're not going to worry about going over this at all, because, in fact, we are going to go over every bit of it right here. We're just going to paint right over it with the white. Now, it's going to take a couple of layers, that's for sure. That's okay. We don't mind. That's what we're doing anyway. We're creating our craft. So we want to paint. We want to take some time to make it look good. And you want to take it about, oh, I'd say about an inch. Actually, you can take it up as far as you want because you're going to be painting it with black up there at the top. So it doesn't really matter how far up you go with the white. Go up as far as you want. Going to take the white and we're going to do the sides of it. Just like this. So now those kits that I showed you, the um, the canvas kits, the canvas kits are ten dollars each. And I also have a video if you're interested in um, step by step instructions that go along with it. I do have videos that go with each of those uh, kids kits this month. And for an additional two dollars, I'll send you a link to go with that. 
Of course, you always get the instructions that come with the kit that tell you, that gives you instruction on how to mix colors. Uh, start with your medium tone first. Work on those first. In this particular case, we're starting with our background first. But um, then with the wooden kits, the wooden kits, they come with the wood, with all the little adornments that go on it. It'll come with glue and uh, all the paint that you need and the brushes. Now, we're not going to paint the bottom of it. There's no reason for that because that's the part that's going to, um, to be sitting up on our shelf like that. See? So... We're going to let that dry just a little bit, and we're going to add another layer on top of that. Because why well, I want it to have a little bit dark, um, a little bit, not dark, it's obviously not going to be dark. I want the white to show up a little bit better. That's kind of pale looking, so we're going to put at least one more layer. We may put two more layers on this, depending on how that goes. Now, it comes with little embellishments that are um, little, little snowflakes. And the little snowflakes that it come with has these little pieces in the middle. You can peel them out to where the snowflake then looks like this. You can see the little cutouts and it's how, how this one, you can't really see the cutouts until you get it and then you can peel those out. Those little pieces, we will use those little pieces that you can peel out. We will be using those for little flakes of snow on the brim of the hat. Now, I did take uh, one of them and peel, I peeled the little middle pieces out just to show you what it looks like, the little snowflake itself. And it has a little peel on back, a little uh, peel off back with a sticky back, but we are going to use glue to adhere it to the piece of wood. I'm just talking while this takes a second to dry here. Now we're going to take some more white paint and we're going to do another layer here on top of that. I'm going to have to get a little more white out. And then we will be giving him a, a nice little black hat to go on the top. And then he's going to have a cute little scarf that goes around down at the bottom. And a little flower or a little embellishment on his hat. Not really a flower, it's more of just a little embellishment. Okay, make sure you do your sides a second coat. Smooth it across. And the next thing we're going to do, moving right along from the white, we're going to move straight into the pink. Now the pink, we're just going to use the littlest bit of a, 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 a small amount of pink. And we're just going to use it for his cheeks. I guess that's not going to come out because I haven't opened this bottle. Looks like it's ready to pop out. that right over there for a moment. Okay, now taking the brush that already has the white on it, we're just going to touch into the pink just very easily. And we're going to mix it with this white to make an even lighter pink. Because we just want a very light little pink for his cheeks. Till it gets about like that right there. And then we're just going to take it and tap on some pink for his cheeks. And we like a little textury look. So just take your little paintbrush, your little sponge brush, and just tap it in. Now we will be going back over the black area, so don't worry too much about that. And then we'll get some more of that pink color right there. 
And we're going to do the same thing right here. We're just going to tap in a little bit of pink right there onto the cheeks. All right. And that's all we need to do with that for the moment. So we're going to take our sponge brush and rinse it out. And we're going to dip into the orange. Let's take the sponge brush and put it over here for a moment. I'm squeezing that back into the... Make sure when you're squeezing the water out of your sponge brush that you squeeze it right back into the cup because if you don't, there's a lot of water in that brush and it'll get all over the place. A great big mess. All right. Now we're going to take the little brush that came in the kit and we're going to get our orange. And we're going to work on painting his nose. So using our little, our little liner brush, we're just going to fill in his nose. Don't worry about being out of the lines. We are going to, like I said, we're going to take our black paint and we're going to go over all of the lines after we get it painted. That'll make it stand out so much better. And you can see that the some of the little waves in the wood actually makes the carrot have a more of a carrot type look to it actually doesn't it and while that orange is drying we'll get our blue and we'll work on his eyes Just rinse your little liner brush off. And then this area right in here is what we're going to paint blue. So take in your blue. We're just going to fill in his eyes right in this area here. Don't worry about it if you make a mistake. You can always fix a mistake. Just let it dry. You can, if you've got baby wipes, baby wipes, you can, uh, or even Lysol wipes, actually, you can go ahead and wipe it up real quick while it's still wet. And for the most part, that's going to take care of any mistakes that you make. You can take care of them very quickly that way. <coughs> you can always take your paper towel and you can dip it into some clean water. And as long as it's uh, the mistake is still pretty wet, you can get most of the mistake up and then you can fix it. You don't want to um, let it dry as a, a heavier coat and then go back and try to spot fix that because that's going to give it an odd look. It's always noticeable when you do something like that. So we've got that eye colored in there. We'll move over to this one right here. Now, when you get yours at home, you're going to have plenty enough white paint that, as you can see, mine still looks a little bit thin. I just wanted to go ahead and get started for the sake of being live here on Facebook and, you know, to save a little bit of time. But you would want to go ahead and give your, your little snowman an additional coat of white, I think I would. If I was you, I would give it an additional coat of white because no worries. I wanted to have the wood grain. Actually, you want to see the wood grain, but you would like it to have a little bit of a, um, a wide enough look that from a distance it's noticeable. Let's bring that in just a little bit here. 
All right, now we've got his little blue eyes filled in. Let's come back on this side a little bit. Okay, and now from here, we're just going to go straight into the black. I think this was the one I was using. Yeah, it is. The crack top. That might be why it's got a cracked top. Do stuff like that to it. And then just give your brush a little rinse. You really don't have to do much for that because you got to consider that that um, going from from blue to black, black is much darker than the blue. You're you're not going to be making the the. It's not going to hurt the the black in the least, but. We're going to go ahead and just rinse it off anyway, just to get a little bit off of there. Now, one thing that we could do at this point that would be helpful would be to go ahead and paint our shim since we're already working with the black. And that way this could dry while we finish painting the face. So we're going to take our wood shim that comes along with it. This is going to be the brim of the hat when we get this done right here. Okay, this will be the brim. So we're going to take this little piece right here and we're going to paint this black. And you don't have to do the back side, you could just do the front. That's all you need to do is, and you want to do the sides of it, of course, but you don't have to worry too much about getting it all over the back, unless you, you can if you want. That's perfectly fine. There'll be enough in there for you that it could be done if that's what you want to do it. Okay, I can see that little notification coming through there. That's fine. I'm going to continue doing this for now. This way and hold it this side. Let's tap it onto the end of it down there. There. There's probably enough black in there that I could just flip it over and paint the whole back of it at the same time, but that's okay. I don't need to do that. And I will get this end down here, though. All right. Now, we're going to let this little shim dry. And while it's drying, let's see, I'm going to place it and see where about do I need to start doing the black for the hat and I'd say that's probably pretty close right there so we can go ahead while we've got our black oh while well, we've got our sponge brush with the black paint already in it we can go ahead and put a layer or two of the black on up here because this is going to be the hat get this back over here think to yourself there's not much paint in there but actually when it comes to these sponge brushes they're pretty loaded they hold that paint very well and you just tilt it and tap it in a different direction and a whole bunch will come out I'm just getting it all over the top up here where the piece of wood that I had was a little bit, I took the very end piece that didn't look as, as good as the other pieces. Saved that for the kits. But I wanted to make an example for you so that you would see what this little snowman could look like. Okay, and now just like with everything else, we're going to go over here to the sides and put the black right there going up. And do the same thing right over here. 
And now, even though we did not color the or paint the bottom, we are going to paint the top of the wood. We do want that part to be painted, so we'll set him up. Ooh, hold on to him. He's going to fly out of my hands. Numerous times that kind of stuff happens here. Then we're going to, I'm going to get a little, just a little bit more because we're going to be using it anyway. Do his face. All right. There, that's going on much better, much easier. Just get a little more in the brush. That's shaking the eyes up pretty bad. I hope not. I'm not trying to bounce the camera too much. But I am trying to pounce the paint right into the wood here where it's cut. And as I said before, the wood is really sucking up the paint. But that's okay. We knew that it would. That doesn't surprise me. It is raw wood. Okay, I'm going to have to get my finger out of the way. <laughs> get my finger from out of the way. And I think that's pretty sufficient right there. That looks like that's pretty well covered to me. We're going to lay him down. And I'm going to wipe off my fingertips so that I don't get the black all over, all over his face here. Although I've got it all over me. But I don't mind. It all comes out in the wash. It's perfectly fine. Just a little paint. Not doing much with that thumb. I burnt that thumb pretty good earlier with my hot glue gun. I'll tell you, you have to be careful when it comes to a hot glue gun. Those things, oh, I'm telling you, can be quite dangerous. You gotta be careful. Burn good. And I managed to burn myself pretty, pretty well with those things. I'm trying to rush. That's always a problem, trying to rush. All right, now we're going to dip our brush back into the water because that's all we're going to need for our sponge brush at this point. And we're going to squeeze that out in there. Get us some little dirty looking water over here. There we go. And I'm just going to lay that down to the side here. I'm going to wipe my fingers again. Okay, and at this point, we're going to take our little liner brush. And we're going to get back into the black paint. And we're going to go ahead and do the outline of his face. And I'm just going to start right here at his eyebrow. You can still see it nice through the paint. And I believe even if you had another layer of white on there, you'd still be able to see through it. Hello, Normal. Normal's come up to see us tonight. And now I'm going to work on this eyebrow over here. And just fill that in. Okay. And then I think I'll move right down here to the smile. And just bring it right around that edge. There we go. And I'm going to do that right here. Bring it down and right up around the edge. I'm going to fill in this eye. get 
done, we're going to take the gracious normal. What did you do that you're acting like that? Cats are so funny. You'd be perfectly fine one second. Take off running like... I don't know what, what's going on. What did he think he just did? I'm not even sure. All right, we've got that pupil filled in right there. Tilt him over and let's work on this one. I'm just very carefully filling in his eye here. Mm. You don't even have to draw the eyes like this if you don't want. I just thought they were cute. Now I'm going to turn him around. I'm trying to be careful where I touch. I'm going to fill in these little... Coal smile, his little pieces of coal on his face here. He's got little pieces of coal for a smile. This one's a little more round than the other ones. But I guess you can't determine what size or how that coal is going to look, huh? You're just picking up pieces and making a snowman's face. There we go. That's going to be very simple there. I think I think kids could easily create this craft. I don't think that this is above a kid's level. I mean, I think that this is, you know, that kids could easily do this, that this is not above a level that a kid could not enjoy making this craft. I also believe that this is an adult craft, that adults could enjoy making something like this. This is this is just a good little family craft, actually. Something that the kids could make. You could have one of the kids making the scarecrow. You could have one of the kids making the snowman. And then you'd have one of each to put out. There we go. Now his little smile is done there. I'm going to tilt him back a little bit. Let's go that way. And we'll work right here along his nose. Need a little more paint. All right, and across the top now. Get a little more paint. I need to put my hand over here to steady myself. And then if you notice on the nose, he's got a couple of little lines just like this here. There we go. You could even put a couple over here if you want. Now he's got a cute little carrot for a nose. And we're ready to work on his eyes now. And I'm just going to extend this right here underneath the blue and bring it right up. And then I'm going to bring it down just like that. And right back up. Turn this just a little bit. And then we're just going to bring it on around. 
and the rest of the outline of his eye right here. And I'm going to fill in the little spots right in there. There we are. Now, I'm going to do the same thing over here. Start with the right underneath and bring it down right under his eye and right up over to the side here. Bring this down right under his eye and right back up. Now it's not exactly perfect. They don't look exactly the same, but you know what? He's a snowman. I don't think his eyes are going to look the same any way you look at it, are they? I think if you look at Frosty, I don't think his eyes look the same, tell you the truth. All right, so right now we've got our little snowman's face all painted. And all we've got left to do now is embellish our cute little fella. Okay, so I'm going to rinse off my brush. And we're going to get out our glue. Now, if you're making this at home, I would advise that you give it some time to dry first. And that way you don't have to worry as much about it if you've given it enough time to dry. But we are here and we're going live, so we're going to go ahead. And now when you get done cleaning your brush, let me just mention a little something to you. If you've kept the little plastic sleeve that goes with it, put it back on top of your brush. That will protect your brush. That's going to keep your brush in the shape that you want it to stay. You don't have to worry about it then. You can set it upright in your cup and just let it dry. And nothing's going to mess with the tip of it. And it's going to have a nice fine line tip that way. Keep the little plastic sleeve as much as you can. Try to hold on to that and keep that with your brush. All right. Anyway, guys, now let's get out our glue. And it's just regular school glue. You can do this with a hot glue gun, and if I make a kit for you, I will do it with a hot glue gun. But for the kits that I send out for the kids, it's going to come with the school glue. And that way we don't have to worry about anybody getting hurt, and it works very well. We do not have to concern ourselves with that. We know that, that Elmer's and school glues hold very well to wood. There's no issue with that. So put you a couple of lines on. Now, you want to have about as much on both sides sticking out. You don't want to have it like that. Well, I guess you could do it like that if you thought he had like a, a ball cap type thing on. You could do that. But I'm going to do mine. You could do that if you want. I'm going to do mine just like that. Okay? So now we've got that part on. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put on his pretty little bow. Now, you can decide if you want it to have the fringes hanging down like this over top of his face, or if you'd like it to be turned that way. You could put your bow up here on top of the hat, up in this area. You can put it on the brim. It's up to you. You could actually even put it down here if you want to, but I'm going to put it up here. I'm going to put it right there on that part of the hat. So I'm just going to put some glue right here. Just like that. And I'm going to stick it right there. And I want all the little fuzzies to be at the top, all hanging around. <gasps> Whoops. Pulled it right off of there, didn't I? Let me put it right back. There we go. I've got some hot glue on it right there. This is how I got burned making this bow. Whew. I'm telling you. Hot glue is hot. Quite hot. Okay. Anyway. We all learn that lesson at one time or another, don't we? Now we're going to take our little snowflake and we're going to peel that backing off of it. That white paper backing that's on there. We're peeling that off of our little snowflake. But even though it is a sticky little snowflake, we're going to put just a little bit more glue on there to make sure that our little snowflake stays. Now I'm going to put this little snowflake right up here. And the next little snowflake, I'm going to take the little pieces, and as I peel them out, I'm going to lay them 
in different directions on his hat on the brim, just like that, so that it looks like little pieces of snowflakes are laying on the brim of his hat. He's got little pieces on there. Now you'll have, I've got some of them sitting over here from where I peeled them off of the first one when I was just peeling them off to see how that was going to look when I got it done. And I didn't really think about a way to use them. And then I started thinking, well, why couldn't you just use them as little pieces of snowflakes? You know, little pieces of snow that's got on his hat. Why not? They're extra. They're there. You may as well utilize them for something, don't you think? Why not? So I'm just putting them here across the top of the hat brim. To look like little pieces of snow. Maybe I'll put this one over there. That one in there. Oh, I got another one. We'll put it right here. And then I could even take these other ones that I peeled from the other one and I could just stick them on there. Little bits, little pieces of snow. And they don't even all have to be at the top. You could have some down at the bottom. You could be in different places on his hat. You could even be up at the top. You could have a piece up here. Like this. Across the top of his hat. Put some of the pieces just like that. And you could take the time to put a little bit of glue on each and every one of these if you'd like. You certainly could. I don't want that one down there. I'm going to put it there. Put a little piece of glue on the back of each one of those. But we're not going to do that for right now. We're going to peel the backing off of this snowflake. Got the paper got stuck right in there. Let me see if I can get that to come out. There we go. One. Come on. All right. All right. Now, I could have put it over here, couldn't I? Or I could have put it over here. Hmm. Maybe I should put it right there. Maybe I just put it up here on his hat. Another snowflake, like right there. Hmm. I'll put them right next to each other, just like that. All right, and there's only one thing left to do. And that's to take his little tie. He's still just a little bit wet right there on his mouth. I can see it. Take the little tie. And put it on him and there we go, guys. He's finished. That's Smiley. The wooden snowman. He's just another one of our little wooden head kits here. Smiley the wooden uh, the smiley, the wooden snowman. And then we have not so scary Harry. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm so glad that you're here with me. I can see you out there, Clover and James and Mel and Jacqueline. I really appreciate you being here with me tonight. Um, if you're interested in the kits, just let me know. If you'd like one made, as I said, I'll make one for you, $15, or I can send you a kit. The kits are 12 Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I appreciate you being here. I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.